Okay. So first we'll see who has uh, developed this, uh, uh, the co-founder co of this application, Nutanix. It is like Dheeraj Pandey. Dheeraj Pandey and Mohit Aron, Ajit Singh funded and they have developed this Nutanix product. It is purely software defined product. You can do your automation with your virtual machine, storage, virtual network, uh, and your storage fabric. So what is the difference between traditional, traditional like we have server and VMware, normal VMware, how the server are located and each server is connected with fiber cable and connected to the switch, switch to the storage and storage to SAN. There are multiple network connection. And if it goes down, your infrastructure is like failed. So your node will fail, your storage fail, your networking. So everything messed up. To overcome this situation, Nutanix has invented this product called Nutanix. So Nutanix having their own thing inside the Nutanix box. So Nutanix box having its own CPU, storage, network inside the box. Each box contain its own CPU, network switch and <clears throat> the RAM, disk, everything inside the box. So all these nodes are connected with CVM. CVM is nothing but the virtual machine, controller virtual machine. All these machines are connected to a center switch. And these virtual machines are nothing but a um, operational machine which takes the input from the user and HTTP request, basically HTTP request to perform some operation. So Nutanix is based on like, it is a hardware product. It has its own virtualization operating system, managing operating system and centralized management tool. The operating, um, operating system called AOS and it's a hypervisor called AHV, Acropolis Hypervisor. And Prism Central. Prism Central is used to manage your all resources. It is a central a centralized console where you can manage each and everything by single console. If you want to take backup, if you want to take create new virtual machine, deploy virtual machine, take snapshot, cloning, data replication, data backup, everything you can manage, register, migrating virtual machine from one host to another host, cluster down, cluster reboot, everything you can do from Prism, Prism Central or Prism Element. In last lecture, last lecture was just an introduction demo class where we discuss about what is the difference between uh, Prism Central and Prism Element. Prism element is used for single cluster where you have three node cluster, five node cluster in your environment. If you have one data center only and you put a three node or five node cluster and if you want to manage that infrastructure using a centralized tool like we use in our VMware, what tool we use to manage in VMware? vCenter. vCenter. Uh -huh. All right. Same like here in Nutanix to manage this all virtual machine cluster, we have centralized management tool called Prism Element for single cluster. If you want to manage multiple cluster, you have suppose different different region like Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad. You have too many cluster deployed, and you want to manage centrally, so you will use Prism Central. So now, nowadays we have another product called Prism Central Pro. Pro has some additional free feature, like you can deploy, you can integrate with the cloud, like AWS, Azure Cloud, you can integrate. So what is like, why we use Nutanix? Because it is, it has more capability, storage capability, storage. It is software defined version and you can do n number of things 
with Nutanix. Okay, so basic every host, every host having its own SSD, SDD, CPU, memory, hypervisor. Suppose you have three nodes. Each node having its own SSD, own SCSI controller, CPU, memory, and network, the network switches, everything, each and everything is managed using controller VM. Suppose you log into the Prism Central or Prism Element and you started working like creating virtual machine. So who takes the input from you? The controller VM. It says create VM. So when you click on create VM, so it your action will come here, your controller VM, and it will create a virtual machine on top of this host. So host could be like hybrid host where you have SDD, SSD, but most of the people they prefer to use SSD, means all flash node. So all flash node means you will have all the SSD. All the SSD are connected with your iSCSI controller. This iSCSI controller are managed by CVM controller, uh, this uh, controller VM. Okay. So keep in your mind each Nutanix host having these components, CPU, memory, SSD, network switch, hypervisor. Okay. So both you have suppose three node cluster, one node here. On top of that node, you install and configure hypervisor that is AHV. Here it is AHV, here it is AHV. You can use this product on top of this product. You can install your own hypervisor like ESXi hypervisor or Hyper-V hypervisor. So these hypervisor you can install and you can manage your component, your virtual machine, your cluster. You can manage through Prism Center. Okay. So the freedom you have freedom to deploy your own hypervisor. So by default, Nutanix using the hypervisor called AHV. These hyper this hypervisor is interact with the, your virtual machine software with your bare metal. Okay, you have component on top of that. You create a virtual machine. Virtual machine required four CPU, twenty GB RAM, forty GB SSD. So these component will be managed on top of your hypervisor okay you create so each node will have same component hardware component software component so you will create yeah so cvm what cvm will do cvm will create a storage pool by collecting this all ssd or sdd it will create a storage pool on top of your storage pool you create a volume on volume, you create a V-disk and that V-disk you assign to virtual machine. So this is basically software defined controller framework where your iSCSI, NFS, SMB, these are the protocol running on your, uh, like how to manage your virtual machine and inside the compression, deduplication. Do you know the Sanar? compression and deduplication uh, no actually i don't have idea about the ask the nfs and smb also yeah these are the uh, network protocol so smb is used to manage your file share if you create your file folder so this mm -hmm. protocol is used for smb and nfs network file storage so uh, you have some nas storage so this protocol used for storage and iSCSI, it is another protocol used to manage your storage controller, your whatever SSD, HDD you have. So iSCSI initiator, iSCSI target, you might have heard when you configure, install a Windows server. On, on top of Windows server, if you create a storage from the NAS storage or SAN storage, you need to configure iSCSI. So in Nutanix, they by default they are using iSCSI protocol 
to configure their storage so compression and deduplication is the technique where in vm where you will not get this technique this technique what they will do they will compress the data suppose you have 20 tb of the data and if you want to compress it it will become like 10 tb 20 tb will become 10 tb 12 tb and deduplication will another technique is used most of the like <coughs> uh, backup tool they are using these two technique deduplication and compression vim backup avmar idpa backup they use these two technique to deduplicate suppose you have words like software is a word okay software having the word and if the word is keep repeating it will consider as a single unit suppose a b c d e f g h so it will take only one word instead of taking if the suppose controller having two l so it will consider only one one alphabet it will not take another l so it will save inside so this this is called deduplication it will not duplicate the data so your storage become less and you no need to invest more cost on your storage this is the technique used in like compression to saving or <coughs> saving your cost on storage replication replication is nothing but replicating data from one host to another host so you have created one virtual machine and you created the backup on this host and you want to replicate whatever virtual machine suppose your application you deploy application here and same virtual machine you want to create as a backup virtual machine mm -hmm. here so daily you create a virtual machine and you start replicating so same kind of virtual machine will be get replicated here on this host so you no need to worry about your backup and storage same kind of virtual machine you can create on other host so this is called replication replication on dr side so basically this replication used in primary side dr side these are the technical word used in data center basically what is your primary data center what is your secondary data center secondary data center is nothing but your dr dr data center like disaster recovery data center if uh, if you if something goes wrong with your primary data center if something mm, a fire or any disaster happen with your data center primary data center you have option to replicate the data or you can um, fail over to your dr side fail over means like your primary goes down you are running on your disaster recovery side okay so okay. Uh, yeah having you... one question mm -hmm. uh, when we will uh, use the deduplication means Dedupl replication it will be repl replicate our vm right in a, uh, right. In, in other node right and right. compression will be compress our data right and what uh, uh, when we will use the deduplication deduplication you get option when you create like virtual machine or storage configure you will get option if you tick that option it will deduplicate means whenever it is getting stored it will not take double word so it will consider only one word so it will use suppose your virtual machine is taking 100 gb of storage mm -hmm. so when you click on deduplication it will become 80 gb so you will save 20 gb right oh, so is it uh, safe or uh... Yeah, yeah, it is safe. We will it lose is. some data. No, 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 no. You will not lose anything. If you take on tick on compression or deduplication, you will not lose any data. The performance, oh, yes, yeah, performance will be same. Yeah. Yes, sir, I have a follow-up question on this. So that we need to uh, uh, configure the while install uh, while uh, installing these uh, devices, or any time we can do this from the central. Yeah, any time you can do it from the centrally, like Prism Central or Prism Element, you can do it. So generally, this compression and deduplication is a part of the storage side, correct? It's not uh, uh, from the SCI or how? It is a part of SCI. So mm -hmm. you will get option whenever you configure the storage pool, 
storage so many basically if you want to create a storage pool if you want to create a virtual machine if you want to create like storage container volume these things are important if you take on compression deduplication it is a easily compress your data deduplicate your data okay so centrally you know, from the prism central you can manage it so For on top right if i have like in the cluster i have a five nodes so that is the only one uh, option i mean it's the prism central i can manage this correct it's no need right. to enable the host and uh, need to enable this option no 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 it is not like in previously like in v center we go we need to uh, like hardware management console like if you are using hp for hp server you use ilo tool for dell server you use idirec you need to go inside and enable this option it is not like that centrally on prism central you can do it okay oh this will be uh, prashant this side so this will be like uh, basically these options we will be using it uh, these features will be using it when we will be creating a storage policies uh, right. uh, and those vms will be following those storage policies while uh, you know uh, 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 from the hardware perspective right all right okay exactly. okay 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 so you can use this feature with your vmware your hyper v or your acropolis okay whatever hypervisor you are using all this feature will be get by default so this will be your architecture you will see the nutanix box nutanix is a store uh, storage box where you have some virtual machine cvm inside your a uh, box you will have all sdd flash drive local drive and you can perform your operation on that like di distributed storage fabric so this distributed storage fabric you will not see can you mute yourself i hello okay this distributed storage fabric this option you will not see on vmware so what this distributed storage fabric will do like storage automation storage each and everything will be performed inside your storage box the nutanix box inside your nutanix all these option will be enabled where san nas you need to use additionally with vmware in our nutanix we are not using san or nas S storage or network storage shared storage or network storage each and everything will be reside in this box as i told you previously like in this box you will get ssd cpu memory where in vmware we will have the storage suppose the this is your vmware infrastructure storage is different your san san storage is different your controller there are too many thing apart from your storage box where in nutanix inside the storage you will get san storage your storage container all the connection fabric network hba connector nfs iscsi all the component network switch you will see inside your nutanix storage box you no need to worry about your if the sand goes down if the network goes down what will happen nothing you you have like in nutanix is a very smart tool if one node goes down you will you will not lose anything your virtual machine will be migrate to other host or this virtual machine will be will not be restarted it will be live migration will happen because cvm is very smart if something goes wrong um, cvm will let you know that something is going down it is not working well so it will migrate all your virtual machine live migrate from one host to other host so is that that means uh, it's 100% top time yeah 100% okay. top time yeah because the vmware says 99.99 something correct so in the nutanix they can claim like 100% uptime correct so we can say that say to the this thing to the customer as well 
yeah, hundred percent uptime in Nutanix. And uh, those uh, hypervisors that we have mentioned, like AOS, Hyper V, and ESXi. So uh, those hypervisors, uh, by default, it will be inbuilt in the box itself that customer has to choose it. Like, for example, if I want to order a Nutanix box, so uh, I will be, at the time only, I will be informing that I will be using this type of hypervisor or uh, how it is like, uh, or or the Nutanix people will configure the, the hypervisors as per the customer choice. Or it is a yeah. in, it, it is hardware in yeah. I just wanted to know. <laughs> no, you need to choose your hardware product, your software okay. product. Customer. Uh -huh. in, okay. Right. Okay. You need to choose uh, some hardware product. Like if you want to choose like all SSD, all flash drive, uh -huh. or you need hybrid environment. This is okay. your hardware configuration. Okay. What kind of SSD okay. you want to yeah, use? Yeah. Memory, CPU, network switches, network. Mm -hmm. 10 gig you require, 100 gig, mm -hmm. 1000 gig you require. So according to that, they prepare a hardware and they will okay. give it to you. And you have option to choose your software on top of it. Okay. If you want to deploy AOS, Hyper, uh, ESXi or Hyper-V, you okay. have option. So Nutanix okay. guy will come and he will install and configure. You no need to worry about that thing okay. but okay. in some emergency case if you want to deploy redeploy migrate or move from nutanix to ahv ahv to nutanix i will share you all those details like okay. using nutanix move tool you can migrate your virtual machine from ahv to esxi and esxi to ahv okay <laughs> You you have that leverage, yeah. So each each CVM you'll find the configuration, your background jobs, your data, metadata. So each host it will have CVM. Like we see the CVM each uh, beside with your virtual machine you have some SQL server, file server, Oracle server. With that virtual machine, your CVM will be running. Okay. This CVM, what this CVM will do? This CVM will do metadata, configuration, your backup jobs. There are too many background jobs are running. So I, in next this slide, I will show you. But the CVM, suppose if one CVM goes down, what will happen? Suppose only this virtual machine failed. Your host is running fine each and everything running fine but the cvm failed what happened with the background job whatever job running configuration data metadata who will manage this thing so in that scenario your other host host 3 host 4 these cvm will manage all the tasks related to node 1 these node 1 related tasks these virtual machine these cvm will manage like in our V center server if ha if one host goes down so that virtual machine will be managed by other host right but here if the cvm goes down these host will be managed by other cvm make a note of it if the any cvm goes down any of the hosts so all these virtual machine all this um, background job this will be managed by other host CVM okay so CVM contains like your configuration what configuration virtual machine you have created you have created storage controller storage controller on virtual machine you have given four CPU so like over provision or anything all these things are managed by this CVM configuration background job these are the job these these background jobs are running inside your cvm so this is very very important question uh, with uh, regards to your interview so they will ask simply they will ask what is the stargate what is curator what is zookeeper 
if zookeeper not working what will happen if curator not working what what will happen if stargate is not working what will happen so these component these are the job this is the cvm is nothing but your linux machine it is a linux machine all the processes these processes are running inside your cvm linux machine this is your linux machine exactly this is your linux machine so inside your cvm these process processes are running so cerebo cerebo is responsible for replication right stargate is it is responsible for io operation what if the io operation coming from other host from the prism central input output operation these operation are managed by stargate curator curator is mapping mapping q and uh, reduce and zookeeper zookeeper is it is used for configuration whatever the mm, uh, quorum quorum configuration you have the zookeeper will be responsible we discre uh, detail if if you assign vdisk to your virtual machine okay if, suppose this process goes down pithos will goes down so this vdisk will not be the vdisk detail you will not see in your prism central correctly you'll see you increase some virtual machine by 20 gb 30 gb here you increase but the details vdisk detail are not showing replicated to on your prism central that is why you need to be very careful with your all these processes these processes are very important so the nutanix uh, in previously like in l2 activity i used to create a ticket when like uh, the nutanix is not working well nutanix is getting hung some uh, vm is not giving proper information or cluster is not working well it is getting hang so in that scenario what they will do nutanix guy will come and it will log into this cvm and once it log in by ncli nutanix cli or using some other tool like putty putty tool you need to use in putty and you need to go inside cvm and it will he will show like cerebo is working well cerebo service is running or not running if it is stop then your replication dr activity will not happen it will restart this uh, cerebo service stargate service curator service zookeeper service all these thing they will check and they will restart that is the thing they they do troubleshooting so if you are working as a nutanix administrator senior administrator it is your responsibility to check all the processes are running fine or not these are the very important process these processes are interacting with your acropolis this is your acropolis operating system this is your ahv this all hypervisor here so all are connected with your <clears throat> these processes if these processes are running fine means your cluster on top of your acropolis is running fine so we'll go through like cassandra zookeeper target so cassandra cassandra is like distributed metadata store cassandra having the, all the information so here they are not presented cassandra anywhere cassandra store and manage all of the your cluster metadata distributed ring like manner based upon heavily modified application cassandra and algorithm based strict consistency this service run every node in the cluster cassandra is access via interface called medusa so you'll see like medusa also not presented anywhere here okay so medisa will be somewhere here so medisa will connected to cassandra cassandra having the all information about your 
cluster information. Cassandra is responsible for your cluster information. And this cluster information is uh, provided by Medusa. Medusa is another process. It, uh, it connect with other, um, all the cluster and it provide all information to Cassandra. Like Zookeeper, we have Zookeeper. Zookeeper store the, all the cluster configuration, including host, IP, state, and upon uh, Apache Zookeeper. So Zookeeper is used to manage your cluster configuration detail. You have cluster, like three node cluster, two node cluster, whether the cluster failed, or cluster is running fine, how many nodes are running on the cluster, or who is elected as a primary node inside your CVM. This is your cluster, right? So Zookeeper, what the Zookeeper will do, it will see like nodes is running fine, nodes like all the processes are configuration related information to store. So what is the configuration for this node? Like you have created you know, 20 virtual machine. All this configuration detail are managed by Zookeeper. If it is failed, so Zookeeper will tell to other host or Nutanix. So Nutanix will tell like our CVM is not uh, working well. I get a notification from Zookeeper that this CVM is not working. So Zookeeper will tell to Nutanix and Nutanix will tell like Prism Central will tell CV, other CVM to manage the virtual machine on other host. So this kind of process running inside Nutanix. Okay, Stargate. Stargate is used to manage IO operation. Stargate is responsible for all, all the data managed and IO operation and main interface for hypervisor, uh, iSCSI, SMB. So whatever the main process is running on iSCSI or anything coming and going outside, I operation, disk operation, it is managed by your Stargate curator. So curator is responsible to manage your uh, managing and distributing tasks throughout the cluster. So including disk balancing, disk balancing, proactive, scrambling, and many more items. Curator runs on every node and, and it is controlled by elected curator. So it will become as leader who is responsible for task job delegation. There is two scan type of curator, full scan, which occur around every six hour and partially scan, it occur every hour. So you'll have two, too many curator, curator of this host, curator of second host, curator of third host. So curator, so curator will be used for disk balancing, proactive scrambling and other tasks. Like you have all these nodes are running fine or not running fine. This curator will be act as like master and slave. So all the CVM having its own curator. So one curator become as a master and other will become as a slave, like secondary. So if one CVM goes down, so second node CVM is not working or second node CVM goes down. So this curator will ask other CVM to manage this host virtual machine or this virtual machine will will be migrated to other host and the CVM will manage those virtual machine. All these tasks are managed by the curator. Okay, you are you understanding? Are we on the same page, guys? Yeah. Prashant, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, so these services basically will be, uh, these are the individual services which will be running on each host. Exactly. Uh, node. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Each node and on the node where it is running, all these services where? CVM. Right. Exactly. All these services are running inside your CVM. So CVM 
uh, is responsible to manage this node. So inside your CBM, all these processes are running. Each process having their own task. So Zookeeper will have configuration manage. This Cassandra, it will metadata of of your cluster. This is store, Stargate is responsible for IO operation. IO operation on this IO operation coming from other host. So these are uh, these like services are very important. If you want to become a really like Nutanix administrator, so remember this Cassandra, Zookeeper, Stargate, Curator, and we have like Prism. Prism like it is API. Okay. Prism uh, Prism having its own service. Okay. Try to understand. Prism Central is different. Prism is a service running inside CBM. So Prism is the management gateway for component and administrator configure monitor Nutanix cluster. So CVM, suppose on your CVM console, if you are not able to see one VM, like whether it is working, not working, you are not able to see. On one node is not showing, it is showing invisible or it is not, it is grayed out somewhere. It is showing grayed out, right? on your prism central so you need to check if my prism service is running or not running so you what you need to go to you need to log in cvm using putty go inside and check this operation okay you need oh, to check that, all this operation right sir i have a follow-up question on this uh, regarding the services uh -huh. so is there a, such a way to we can monitor the services if something goes down or something is not working can we notify through that uh, email or something is possible so configuration related services you can configure alert and configure there is a like uh, component inside your prism central and prism central where you configure your alert and notification for for these services, there is no proper alert you can set. But you can do your automation. You can go inside Linux machine. You can set alert rule. You can configure SMTP and you can set this rule. But on Prism Central, it will show you. Like whether your virtual machine goes down, whether your storage goes down, whether your host goes down, your cluster is not working, VMs are not migrating. If you're using vCenter server, your HA is not working. If you're using AHD, your affinity rule, anti-affinity rule, whatever rule you have set, your distributed storage fabric, it is not running. So all these information you will see on your Prism Center. But these services, if it get failed, it will impact your all the virtual machine performance, right? So you will see that virtual machine getting hang or it is not working. So behind that, there is a reason that any one of the process is not working. Here you have uh, shown that Cassandra. So uh, any databases we are using in this or Cassandra itself, it's showing as a, it's a metadata. So right. what will be the database for this Dynix? Which database we use it? In the I'm not sure. See, uh, uh, Postgres or any database uh, like Apache database uh, we are okay. using right okay. Okay. inside the Nutanix. So it is a small component of database inside Nutanix. Okay. 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 So we will not see all these database on uh, mm -hmm. Prism Central console. Okay. Okay. But a database related thing, even if you are working on L2 or L3 level, you will not able to touch those databases because mm -hmm. it's owned by the Nutanix, right? Yes, yes, yes. So you cannot try to change something inside your database. Yes. yes. But uh, by default, they use uh, PostgreSQL background? Yes. So the Prism is another service like if something is not showing on prism so you you need to guess that the prism service is not running so you need to go 
log inside the CVM and you need to check all the services are running properly or not. Genesis. Genesis is like cluster component and service manager. Genesis is a process which run on each node and it's responsible for any service interaction such as start, stop, anything. If you hit the command like power off virtual machine or power on virtual machine, if it is not taking, this means that your Genesis or your cluster services are not working. So these are your services, cluster services. So you need to check and you need to uh, restart this service, Genesis service. Genesis is the process which independently of the cluster and does not require cluster to be configured running. The only requirement of the Genesis is running is that zookeeper up and running. So these services are dependent with each other. So Genesis is dependent on your 